Hello, awesome Washington and Schlegel students. Um, college and career facilitator here, just checking in with you guys this week. I wanted to reach out to all of my college students and all of my tech students just to remind you that I am here for you. I'm still working for you every day. Um, I'm able to be reached either through my email or through my phone number, which by now I hope that you've received many times. Um, so please reach out and as always, let me know what you need so that I can help you to uh, do better in your classes. One of the subjects that I wanted to go over today is key to your success, and that is communicating well. So knowing how to communicate with your professors, your instructors at Tech, knowing how to communicate with me, it is essential during this time of quarantine when we're working in these little bubbles by ourselves you can feel very distant but in actuality we're all and i say we i mean our your instructors your professors all of us here we are working towards that communication and, and some of the key ways of doing that is through email and through blackboard and through phone calls and so if you are unsure about exactly how to do that, I'm gonna go through that with you today. So I'm gonna share my screen with you here real quick. I wanted to show you, uh, let me go back, sorry. This is right here, the professor contacts. And so these are all the emails for your professors. Email is the best way to communicate with them. They do check their emails. They should get back with you um, in a reasonable amount of time. And so all of the uh, professors are listed here. Composition one, you can see that's Anna Hinton. Spanish one is Victoria Losa. Sociology is Terrence Hall. College algebra, Eric Smith. Psychology is Jennifer Bittner. And US history is Connor Stangler. And so you could pause the video now, make sure that you have all of this information written down somewhere that's useful for you. Add it to your contacts in the emails that you use and make sure that you use it often, okay? Um, another way that you can communicate, oh, and one thing to mention is if you do reach out to your professors with a question or for help, whatever it might be, please include me on that email. You have my email address and it allows me to see what struggles you're having and what I can do to help address those, those struggles as well. And sometimes you may, Maybe you're not communicating with your professor the way that you want, or you're not getting the results that you need. Including me on that email allows for me to advocate for you um, and to know what the situation is when I'm entering into it. So on emails, please, to professors, please include me on that correspondence. So another way that you can communicate is through Blackboard. Most everybody is using Blackboard, not everyone, but um, I think everyone but Comp 1 should be using Blackboard. So when you open your Blackboard page, you know it looks like this. You've got your courses over here on the left. You've got announcements here in the middle. And then course messages will pop up here if your professor has sent you a message or the whole class a message. So when you want to talk to your professor through Blackboard, one of the course you guys are doing Zooms, Please be vocal on your Zoom, speak up, show the teacher that you are participating, communicate your needs in that way. But if it's not appropriate to do in front of a whole class on Zoom, you can do a direct message to your teacher. Let's do, let's just pick Spanish. You click on your class and you'll, it'll come up like this. This is your course homepage. And over here, you're gonna see course messages. And so what you're gonna do is click that link. It's gonna pop up like this. And then you're gonna click, well, first of all, you can see here, this is your inbox. And so right here where it says zero, I don't have any messages right now, but if you did have a message from your professor, this is where you could see it. It would be right here in unread. So what you do is you go over to click, create, click create a message. And this is gonna pop up. It, this is not like traditional email where you have to type in the email address. It's actually right here for you. So you click two, you would scroll down. You can see I'm on there. Um, I, I prefer that you use direct email with me, not Blackboard. But if you do want to uh, connect with your professor, there she is. You click that and then you add it over to recipients. Once that recipient is in the box, then you're going to come down here to compose your message. Now, listen, never put your message that you're trying to send in the subject line. The subject line is just meant to be a short declaration of who, what, why you're trying to reach out to this person. So you'd put a short message like need homework help or need help on paper or just something very short and sweet that lets the professor know what it is exactly, why are you contacting them? Then you come down here and in the body of your email, then you begin to type out what it is. Use complete sentences, okay? Capitals, periods, commas, all of that stuff. Show them that you're a professional when you do your work, okay? And make sure that you are clear and concise. They know exactly what you're, you need help with. If it's a paper, what paper is it? If it's a problem, 
what exactly about the problem did you not understand? And so these are the things that you need to reach out and let them know exactly in the body of the email. When you are ready, you, you can actually up upload an attachment right here. So that might be an example of the paper that you want them to look over. It might be a picture of the problem that you're struggling with. All of that can be uploaded through an attachment. Then you just hit submit, boom, and it goes right directly to your professor and they will respond to you in the same way. So this can also be used to, and you can see all the students in the class are here. And so this could also be used to create a study group possibly or to ask one of your friends, hey, what did you do on this specific assignment? I need help with that. Especially in a class like Spanish, um, having a study group is very helpful. You guys can create your own Zoom. You guys can get together and you guys can have study sessions. Um, you can click whoever you want, get Giselle over there, get Oscar over there, you know, get Sierra over there, and then they are all gonna be included in that message and that will go out through Blackboard. So whoever you wanna include, you could include the whole class if you want. You could select them all and put them all over there. And so then everybody in class, everybody including the professor gets it. But, and then this is a way for you to do, you know, ask out, ask for help, get study groups, et cetera, that sort of thing. So those are the two best ways for you to be sure that you are uh, communicating well with professors, communicating well with me and other students. Another thing, be sure you're checking your KCKCC email. We would hope that the Blackboard messaging would work well for you. Um, I communicate with you through your student, uh, your high school email, but professors will also be connecting with you on your KCKCC email. I did send out an email a couple of weeks ago that shows exactly how to do that. If you are not aware of how to do that, then please reach out to me in an email and I'll send you a tutorial video and I'll also send you the link that you need to check your KCKCC email. But it is an expectation that you are doing that every day. Check your school email every day. Check your KCKCC email every day. All right, it's very, very important. So that's about it. I'm not gonna keep you too long. I appreciate the time that you spend watching these videos. I hope they're helpful for you. Um, in closing, I just wanna remind you that I am here every day working for you. I'm at your beck and call, and I mean that. Whatever you need, I can step in and help you out. And so please, you know, utilize me, help, help me help you. That's what I'm saying. So that's it for today. I hope, oh, and listen, tech students, you may not be using Blackboard and email, but you have to learn how to communicate too. You have to, even though you're in that instructor's class, you need to know how to advocate for yourself. You need to know how to stay after class and ask questions. On a break, make sure you're pulling that professor or that instructor aside, asking them for the help that you need. What more can you do? Maybe you didn't understand something. So advocating yourself, and some people don't like to speak out. I understand that, but hey, you, you guys are adults now. You've got to take charge of your own future and your own education, and this is the way that you're going to do that. So that's it for the day. I appreciate the time that you spent, like I said, and please reach out and let me know what you need. Have a great day.